Viewer discretion is advised. If you cannot listen to another person's opinion about video games and it causes you vaginal bleeding, please leave this video right now. Thank you. Alright, so a quick video because I've had zero interest to play Halo 5, let alone even talk about this game. I've been saying since I saw the beta gameplay like a while back, it was in January, that the game looks meh to me. And people on my live stream kept asking if I was going to get Halo, if I was going to stream it, blah, blah, blah. And I said the only way I was going to get Halo 5 and stream it and shit is if they sent me a review copy. Kind of hoping that they didn't, to be honest, but of course they did reply and sent me a review copy. And I said, okay, maybe I might get some enjoyment out of playing this game, I guess. <laughs> and I definitely do, I really do appreciate that they sent me um, a review copy Microsoft because they also sent me a review copy of Gears of War Ultimate Edition. I was definitely happy about that because I still play that game frequently. But I regret, <laughs> I regret it so much, even wasting their time. I should, I should have just asked them for a copy of um, Tomb Raider, to be honest, the new Tomb Raider, because I, I feel like I wasted their time asking them to send me a copy of Halo Five because I, I just have no idea why some people are enjoying this game. It's just my opinion. I have no idea why other people are enjoying it <laughs> because. The last, the last Halo game I truly enjoyed was Halo 3. I'm talking about the campaign and the multiplayer. Fucking amazing. Uh, Halo 4's campaign was trash. Didn't even care to finish the, um, that, the campaign. And the multiplayer was the same amount of trash. Halo 5's campaign, I didn't even care to finish the first mission. And on the multiplayer side, sides of things, I don't even feel like I'm playing Halo anymore. Like, I, play, I, I had the game since when? When was it? Let me see. Uh, I had it like a couple days early over the weekend. The game came out on the 27th. I had I, I got it on the 24th, right? And I played about two or three times <laughs> during that week. And like I really just don't feel like I'm playing Halo anymore. That's that's how I, that's how I feel because I, like I was playing, I was streaming on. I streamed the multiplayer once, I think. <laughs> I think I streamed it once. And if I have a bad game, meh. If I have a good game. Man, like I, I don't care. Like I'm just going through the motions basically while playing this game multiplayer online, and the the game is just it just feels unsatisfying to me as a Halo game. Maybe I'm weird. Maybe I didn't evolve with um Halo like other people did, but this game just isn't enjoyable to me anymore. I don't I don't know. It just doesn't feel it just doesn't feel good to me. Halo used to be like one of the special first person shooters I could go to, but now it just feels like. It just feels like an, another first-person shooter, which is sad. That's what it just exactly what it feels like. It just feels like another first-person shooter. I, I even had more fun playing Black the Black Ops 3 beta. I had more fun playing that. And I know in my head that I'm getting Black Ops 3 just for zombies. And I had more fun playing the, the freaking Black Ops 3 on multiplayer. How do I have more fun playing that than Halo? Halo. That just goes to show, right? But, like I said, this is just my opinion. Take it with a grain of salt. I don't know what to tell you, because <laughs> I know some people take my my um opinion to <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me. I'm not doing this over to heart. <laughs> but anyway, I don't want to make this video too long because I really don't care <laughs> for this game. But Black Ops 3 though, that's coming out tomorrow, right? Yeah. So, in saying all that, rest in peace, Halo 5. Um, October 27th. To November 6th, because tomorrow is when Black Ops 3 is, com is coming out. Rest in peace, Halo, because it is not going to f survive that at all. Um, you will not be missed. Um, at least the game so well in its first week. That's really good for Microsoft and the Xbox One. Happy about that. It's, it's so well. I, I don't remember the numbers, but it, I think it's the best selling Halo in the franchise the first week, which is crazy, even though I don't think it's a Halo game. But that's good that it sold well the first week. Um, and yeah, Black Ops 3 is going to kill Halo faster than Titanfall, <laughs> faster than Titanfall even died, and yeah, rest in peace, rest in peace.